Boom. What's happening? That was sick. H2K playing pretty good, right? I'm pretty sure I'm playing really good. Hey guys, I'm H2K, a grand champion since season 8 in 2v2 and 3v3. If you're wondering what this video is about or what you're about to experience, well, you're basically watching my coaching series. I'm currently coaching the diamond levels and we're doing this in 2v2 ranked. Want to find out why diamonds are diamonds? You're at the right place. Watch this video and I'm sure you'll find out why. Also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please click that bell icon so you're notified when I make a new video or a new stream. I test their mechanics aerially and I also test their ground dribbles. This guy's name's Caden. Let's get right into the gameplay. H2K. Alright, we're playing with Caden. Caden is 16 years old. He has a thousand hours on the game and he's a diamond player. So how do I test your aerial control? Well, I do this exercise where I fly around the ball and I don't allow the player to use air roll. By doing this exercise, you actually get better with your aerial control, your double taps, your redirects, your ceiling shots, your flip resets, name it anything in the air you're gonna get better by doing this exercise so i really enforce this exercise when i'm testing my candidates candidates when i'm testing my candidates candidates so let's do the exercise yeah, okay. man the fly around the ball yeah. exercise you ready yeah yes my remote is kind of like stiff i left my other one at my mom's okay so like both the toggles like the like the look around toggle isn't that bad like, all right, all right. steering toggle is kind of like right. I can, I'm like kind of decent, but also. All right, so those. I always go too fast around the ball, and then I just get out of control. Too fast? I mean, you got altitude. I like I don't, I don't use a, a binded arrow, so I don't use arrow right or left. I just no. do, do you, basic uh, like. Oh, basic like. Uh... Just the, you could go right or left, like. Right, right, right. If you compare Caden with the last Platinum player, you see a huge difference. The Platinum player had a lot of difficulty flying around the ball. Caden is on another level. Caden's been practicing his mechanics. Aerially, I'm not worried he'll be able to hit double flip resets in no time. He keeps up this exercise and he gets closer and closer to that ball, right? Keep that aerial control as close as you can to the ball. Incorporate some arrows, make it difficult for you, and really get good at the non arrow exercise. That really teaches you how to maneuver your car to get those redirects, double taps, recoveries, mid air recoveries. You're gonna need those, and you're definitely gonna need to know how to move your car without using arrow. To adapt faster, and faster means better, especially in Rocket League. Uh, let me see your ground control. Like, just uh, balancing ground? the ball. Okay, dribbling, no boost, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, the next exercise I'm gonna want Caden to do is this exercise here. But I don't want him to use boost. And the reason I don't want you to guys to use boost or to barely use boost is because I want you to really understand how to balance the ball on your, on your car, right? And what I'm really focused on here is the ball indicator on the floor. I'm not really focused. I'm not looking at the ball. Really what I'm looking at is the ball indicator on the floor. I can set myself up for flicks so that when I do flick, I can incorporate some boost and get more power on the flick, right? When you're flicking, you wanna hold boost. You wanna have boost to get that extra stiffness on your car. I'm, cause I have it on PC. So like I do the left and mirror dribbling thing. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah, I do that. That's good too. But I'm, but I'm still bad. <laughs> okay. I, I may be, level five is tough for me on the Level dribbling five thing. is tough for you? Okay. Yeah, like okay. the big, like you just go all the way wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can keep it on my car. Getting better at ground dribbles is really easy. If you don't have a PC, do this in free play. If you have a PC, you can make this more fun by doing these workshops. This workshop is called Dribble 2 Overhaul. I've talked about it all the time. I can honestly say that just by doing this workshop, I've actually gotten way better at my flicks and my ball control. I'm quicker to react and I know how to position the ball on my car to get ready to flick over my opponent or to take a shot, right? I can incorporate any kind of flick I want just, you know, doing this workshop here. Oh, 
Man. All right, we tested Caden's mechanics. We tested him aerially, and we tested his ground dribbles. I think he's in the right rank. He should be Diamond 2, but I'm really sure I could push him to Champ 2. Okay, okay. Dude, where are you from? Uh, Canada. Where in Canada? Like, Ontario. Ontario. And, and, and who are you referencing when you put 31 in your name there? Uh, yeah, you're, you already know. <laughs> you're, you you're already, like, you? called me out last time. And you're from Ontario? Yeah. Why don't you like, uh, the Leafs? Because they're garbage. <laughs> Nobody likes the Leafs. I feel like all the Leafs fans just kind of feel bad for the Leafs. Probably, but... So they uh, just... Man, that was nasty. Thank yeah, you. nice little dunk. Okay, I'm going right. Go for the... Okay. Just so we're on the same page, let's talk positioning. I just called a fake kickoff. So on a fake kickoff, I want Caden to drive by the ball and to pick a side. Caden's gonna pick a side by watching the opponent on the back side. The opponent on the back side goes for the boost on the left side, Caden's point of view, and Caden go on the right side. This guy's gonna pass to me, right? Cause Caden's gonna go through the ball. This guy's gonna get faked. What can happen here? The bad things that can happen is that this guy gets a dunk on me and the ball goes into the zone or worse, the net. If that happens, Chances are this guy's gonna try to get middle boost or rotate back out and let his teammate come in and put some pressure. To me, honestly, I would rotate back out. I would grab some pads around here and I would hold that center position, keep pressure on the blue team. As the defender, if I got faked here and I got blocked, right? I got dunked by the red Fennec. I'm gonna wanna keep that pressure on the short side and protect that short, po short side post. As the teammate, I'm gonna rotate back, grab boost, support, back post. And I'm never in the same zone as my teammate, right? We don't want to forget that the scenario keeps going my teammate ends up missing the ball if you miss the ball the danger becomes short side your job immediately becomes to protect short side red fennec i highly recommend you keep putting that pressure on the blue team the guy on the other team the other red fennec teammate you know what stay there you guys didn't know this that this guy, by staying right here, has multiple options. He can read the play if the ball pops out here. He's there. If the ball somehow pinches through everybody on back on this side, easy for him. Oh, I just moved the Easy for him. Easy for him. Rotates out, comes, protects the ball. Make sure to keep that pressure. All right, let's stop talking about position. All right, let's stop talk. Let's stop. Blah, 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 blah. Bloopers. All right, let's stop looking at that positioning board. Let's talk about my streaming. Yeah. We all know who that is. That guy's name is Lil 2K. He's my mascot, and when I stream, you guys can actually control him. And please do as he says and click that bell icon. So when I start streaming, you know that I'm streaming. Also, guys, check out what else this little guy can do. Look at this. So when I do a nice shot, he gets it and he starts dancing. That's pretty epic, right? If there is a ball escape, goes into the left corner. Depending on where this guy went after his challenge, rotate down the middle, right? You want to rotate down the middle, grab all the pads and drive right down. Keep pressure and protect that first post. I always talk about protecting first post. That's where the Fennec's going to want to go as fast as possible. Blue team, opposite. Keep that pressure. If you want to pressure, you want to protect that wall side. You don't want him to pinch it around you on the wall. So I recommend blocking the wall. If you're more in the middle, he can easily go and use the wall to his advantage. So I recommend immediately guarding the wall. Red Fennec, you either want to wait in this zone here to see what your teammate's going to do, win the 50-50 or not, or rotate back in the back post, right? Teammate here, I recommend staying here. You're protecting that first post in case the ball, you know, finds its way through. You're here to block that. And if your teammate gets beat, you're already waiting for that beat, right? So the way Rocket League works is you're already, you're always supporting your teammates offensively and you're supporting your teammates defensively. I hope this board showed it for you guys. Let's get back into our game. All right, Caden and I are gonna play with some grand champions. I know it's a little rough, but I gotta see what this diamond player can do against the grand champions. It's easier to see the mistakes when you throw a diamond player in a grand champ lobby. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm probably gonna go for a back right. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Don't you just love it when you just queue the game and then the phone rings and you get disturbed and this is like the one game that you can't stop playing? You know what I mean? Hey, Tanya, can you get the door, please? Corey's there. Corey, just walk in. My brother. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Nice try. The boom thing was in the way. I couldn't see behind the smoke. Nice. A little bit of a lighting issue going on in the background. There. It's not taped. She's fine, Corey. Nice. Good 50. 
I try to read it. Might be in. Nice, that's cool. Yeah. GC kick off right there. Nice. Back left. I can't I'll, right now. Yeah, Give me back seat. left. In three minutes, I, I'll help her. I suck. Why am I so bad? I got it. I got it. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm panicking. <laughs> Nice, another. Oh. Nice. Is that in? Let's go. I got an assist against GCs. Wow. I got two assists against GCs. Yeah, just being like super cautious in gameplay. Good job. Oh, I try to pressure. Game, Corey. Oh, yeah. I saw the act. I think we're gonna hit it. I scored, dude. And Man, we're gonna I'm... win. <laughs> we're gonna win. Chill, chill, chill. Diamond 2 and a GC versus 2 GCs, we're gonna win. Actually, no, I shouldn't get hyped up. Yet. No, don't get hyped up. Don't get hyped up. Play your game. Play your fifties. Focus on not missing the ball. Uh, I suck. Oh no, he's bumping you. Oh, he bumped me too. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, chill there. Yeah, clear it. I yeah, I try to catch and then go. The light back. Right. We're fine. Oh, we're we're not fine. No, we're not. You gotta stop from right here. Got it, got it, got it. No, no. Ah, no. So I'm so bad. Where you had to go. That yeah, I know, right there, here. You couldn't let it bounce. Yeah, I really had to go. I even tried to bump him for you. Yo, what's up, Brock? I'm throwing. I'll go back right. My mic volume. I should have won against GCs. I just hear everyone in the background yelling. Oof. A diamond three in the GC. All right, so we ended up losing by a couple goals, even though I was getting disturbed that game and Tanya was in the room and my brother was breaking the lighting and all that stuff. We only came close by a couple goals. Actually, the queue was pretty close. A diamond and a, a diamond and a grand champion and the same thing on our team. So we definitely could have won that game. I think if it weren't for the stress, the streaming, the panicking, uh, Kaden missed the ball a couple times and he just, I know he could play better, but with all those factors, made it so you know we lost that game but all in all he played great and i'm really proud of him let's see what happens when i play against the champion players in the next episode okay chat how's it going i guarantee that one won i was being super distracted there exactly there we go cool your first outro to be a youtuber yeah there we go all right peace man <laughs> bye